the immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper came stirring tales of the early American frontier, when freedom-loving pioneers were carving a new nation out of an unknown, savage, and untamed wilderness. Stories of those exciting days and of the courage, daring, and devotion of men like Hawkeye, the first of the long rifles, and his tribal brother Chingachgook, the last of the Mohicans. we've seen in 24 hours. All in war paint. Mean trouble. Yeah, big trouble. The question is, for who and where? All go same way. No pale face settlement that way. Well, maybe they're going to a big powwow, a war council of some kind. We'd better find out about it. What are we going to do? Hey, come here, read this. Read the sign over you uh, kind of getting your wind up there, ain't you, Mr. Milburn? Not a bit of it, Mr. McKenzie. My newspaper prints the truth as we see it. I don't want all you people getting panicky about this, but we've got a pretty serious situation to face. I think we better all face it fairly and squarely. Well, don't make much sense to me, posting up a bulletin like that. Trying to scare the wits out of all us people and based on nothing but rumors. We've more than rumor to go on, Mr. McKenzie. Mr. Runnell here is the spokesman for all you people. If he'd be kind enough to come into my office with me, I'd be glad to tell him all I know about it. Sure, Mr. Milburn, I'll come in with you. Oh, Sam. Sam Durbin. What's on your mind, Milburn? You're kind of picking a poor time to go to your trading post, aren't you, Sam? Haven't you heard the news about the Indian uprising? Uprising? <laughs> There's not an Indian on the warpath within 200 miles of this settlement. Ask Jock McKenzie there. He's been fur trading in the territory. Go on, ask him. I ain't seen any Indians. I know that. Of course not. Milburn, you're just trying to get me to stay here and ruin my business. Now you know that's not true, Sam. Look at that wagon of yours, loaded with all those barrels of gunpowder. Those Indians attack, we're going to need that powder right here. If you want it, you can buy it from me. You can't endanger the community that way, Durbin. That powder may be a matter of life and death to all of us. Told you how you can get it if you want it. Don't any of you try coming out to my place and taking it away from me, neither. You not only get gunpowder, but a good, healthy round slug of lead besides. Well, come on, Mr. Runnell. I'll be glad to give you all the information we've obtained. That's why we sent word to all you farmers and trappers to come in here to the settlement, Mr. Runnell. If this is true, Mr. Milburn, we're sitting on a powder keg here in the Mohawk Valley. Uh, it's true, all right. If the Indian War spread to this valley, and Hawkeye is sure they will. He'll be right in the middle of it here. Hawkeye? A fur trapper and a scout. He brought in the news. But this settlement isn't a fort. We're not much better off here than we would be by ourselves. I know. As soon as Hawkeye gets back, 
We've got to decide whether to stay here and defend our homes or whether to evacuate the village. Where is this Hawkeye? Up north, around the big lake, scouting. His Indian partner, Chingachgook, reported some restlessness in the Huron tribes. These Hurons are dangerous and tricky. This could mean trouble. When do you expect Hawkeye back? Yesterday. You mean he could have been killed or captured? I don't think we should wait. I think we should evacuate the village right away. How do you know the Hurons aren't waiting in ambush for us to do exactly that? No, we've got to give Hawkeye a little more time. Without his report, any action we take, it would be like we were blindfolded. You see? All Huron chiefs together. Yeah, and it must be something pretty all fired big to get them all together. Even that big high chief, Macago. Look, there he is. Oh, I'd sure like to know what they're up to. They wait for something. Maybe him. Kanaya. Kanaya. I'd sure like to hear what's going on in that lodge. What about Brave? We'll get rid of him. Now, we'll make you the same deal we made all the other tribes that joined us, Chief. What deal? The North American Fur Company agrees the Hurons will keep their lands forever. And you've got Jock McKenzie's word for it. We'll pay you a top price for all the furs you can deliver. Well, all we ask is that you sell your furs to us and nobody else. What about white settlement? Well, the white settlers are as much trouble to us as they are to you. The more that move in, the more they ruin the fur trade. We drive out. We'll mean much blood. Well, how you get rid of them is your concern, not the company's. Hurons, great warriors. To take warpath need much guns, much powder. Company give? Well, in time, yes, but not right now. You see, they... They gotta come all the way across the, the big water in, in great sea canoes. Need, you understand? Need guns now. Later, no good settlement be too strong for Indian. Oh, I'm telling you, we ain't got them to give you. A few rifles, perhaps, but no ammunition. Guns, no good without fire powder. Yeah, wait a minute. I, I know where you can get powder right now. More than enough to attack the white settlement. Where? From Durban. Dub it. Yes. You here? Plenty. The Hurons are taking the warpath. The 
planning on attacking the settlement. Many die. Many lose scalp. Unless we can warn them in time. <laughs> White man, I'm all eager. Don't let him get away. Hello, <laughs> okay. Good, you die too. Many white settlers die. But you can't hold them off by yourself. Not take me easy. His only way to save white settlement. Now go! There goes the white man. You take care of the Mohican. Where's Pale Face? He's dead. I killed him. Now, let's go to Durban's and get that gunpowder, eh? What do we do with Mohican? Well, we might need him later. Take him to the village. Off to the Panther. That's why the Hurons couldn't afford to let Chingachgook and me escape. I had to pretend to be killed to get away. You see, they have to keep their deal with Mackenzie and the fur company a secret. You say Chief Macago wants to attack this settlement as an example to all the other tribes? That's right. How soon will the attack come, do you think? Well, it depends on how soon the Hurons can get ammunition. The fur company can't supply it just now. And then we're safe. Well, not quite. Mackenzie told the chief they could get all they needed at Durbin's. Sam Durbin's? Of course. He came through here with his daughter on his way to his trading post at Long Point. He had a whole wagon load of trade goods. What kind? Powder, shot. Enough to attack the settlement? More than enough. I told you before I left to have everyone come into the settlement. Well, everybody else did come in. I told Sam Durbin, but he wouldn't budge. He said he'd spend a whole year building his place, and he wasn't about to walk off and leave it. He won't ever leave it if those Indians come after his powder. You think we ought to evacuate the village? No, you'd be better off here than you would be in the forest with a war party of Hurons after you. We can sure use that powder Sam Durbin's here. None of us are oversupplied with it. Maybe there's still a chance. If I can just get to Durbin's before the Hurons do. 
Some of us here can go with you. No, I'd better go alone. The woods might be swarming with Indians. Maybe there won't be an attack, but meantime, you'd better get ready for one. Well, you heard what he said. Don't shoot, Durbin. Who are you, and what do you want? I'm Hawkeye. I've come from the settlement. Won't do you no good. I told him I'm staying here. Well, at, at least let me talk to you. All right. Come in with your hands over your head. Keep in cover, Martha. Now then. Just what are you doing up here? I came from the settlement to bring you back with me. Oh, no, you don't. I told him I wasn't coming back for no reason, and I meant it. All right. Stay here and get yourself and your daughter killed if you want to, but I'm not going to let the others be killed. What do you mean? I'm taking that back with me. My powder? Oh, no, you're not. The Hurons are on the warpath. They need that powder to attack the settlement. They're on their way here right now to get it. Poppycock. You heard I had the richest trade in the territory, and you're just trying to scare me away from it. That's the honest truth. The Hurons have gone on the warpath. I'm surprised they didn't get here ahead of me. You can depend on it. They'll be here. All right, we'll just wait and see. No, we won't. I'm not going to stand by and let the settlement be destroyed. Okay, you keep them covered, Martha. No. Huh? Now look what you've done. What's the matter with you anyway? I believe him. Maybe you're stubborn enough to let lots of people get killed, but I won't let you make a mistake like that. Now make him help you load the powder on the wagon. I'll do no such thing. Now, you give me the... Do as she says, Mr. Durbin. Now move. Thanks. That's all. Here's work. Hard to turn your back on it. I sure hope it's the right thing. It's the right thing. Come on, let's go. Yeah. It's the trading post. And we got out just in time. We'd be dead now if you hadn't... Oh, well, sure, in tarnation, I was wrong, young fella. Thanks. We still have a chance. They've surely picked up our trail by now, but at least they don't have horses. You better drive like you never drove before. Get up. Fix it enough to get back to the settlement? Well, I can try, but it'll take a while. A while is just what we haven't got. I'd better scout back a ways and see how far behind us the Huron are. It won't be long. No. Yeah, you stand guard.
What is it? An Indian. Don't shoot. It's Chingachgook. I'm glad to see you alive. Huron, not smart. This is Chingachgook, my blood brother. Now, let's get started quick. The Hurons must have heard that shot. I'm sorry. Hurons, come. Get in the wagon. Keep down out of sight. Man lead on false trail. Bring bad medicine. I no lie. You say pale face dead. White man word no good. Bring evil spirit to your arms. Listen, you weasel faced heathen. Oh. Oh, wait a minute, Ricardo. No sense in losing our wits over this. We can still make a deal about no the deal. First. White man go. They find in Huron territory again. There's a few people back at the settlement who'd kind of like to talk things over with you, Mackenzie. Now, come on. So, you did bring him in. I told you that's what he was figuring on when he jumped off your wagon. Well, he brought in your man for you, Lieutenant. I'm Lieutenant Mavis, in charge of the advance guard for Major Bradley's battalion. There'll be a garrison here in a week, Hawkeye. This settlement will be turned into a fort. Then you'll all be safe from Hurons. I hope you're going to join us here, Hawkeye. We could use a couple of men like you and your partner. Afraid not, Lieutenant. Chingachgook and I have got a little trip to make, back in Huron territory. You can't do that now, not after what you've done to those Indians. Miss Durbin's right. They'll be out to lift your scalp, sure. Why do you have to go back out there anyway? Got a little fishing to do. Fishing? Yeah. I got a long rifle and a powder horn got dumped in the lake a while back. Wouldn't feel right without them. We'll be back again. Mm -hmm. 